Okay, hello and welcome to this video about blend for web It's going to be the um, continuity after the last video. Uh, we have con built a, a controller to reveal and hide this cube. So we've got blend for web as uh, render engine selected. If I go in render and fast preview. Uh, that's the scene we've got so if I click on this cube it uh, is shown and hidden if I move the camera both cubes move together this is not ideal if I want this cube to be a um, user interface uh, element So we're going to use viewport alignment, which is a new feature in uh, the SDK of blend for web version 15.12. So let's have a look at that. What you have to do is take an object and uh, shift select, select the object, shift select the camera, control P, uh, make the camera parent of the object this um, when you select the object the cube which is a controller uh, that's how we called it controller here as well controller um, I can use uh, this that shouldn't be that's not the default uh, settings what you should have is this viewport align alignment um, so you enable it by clicking the default is center with a distance of 10 distance is uh, how far it's going to be from the camera when it's aligned so obviously the smaller this number is the bigger the object appears to be so let's check the default it's not at all going to be at this place when I open the scene looks like it but in fact no because Ooh, it's overlapping the other cube. See, it stays in the center. If I rotate, only the cube that appears and disappears can uh, move. You'll notice that it does move even when it's hidden. That's because the camera's moving, not the object. This also explains the changes in the, s in the shadings because this object follows the camera. So when we go on the dark side of the cube, uh, well, maybe center is not the most. Uh, yeah. It's not. This setting is not the most easy one to show you what I mean. So, I wanted to show show you a different um, something, a few f things that we have to work around. So, if I zoom in, uh, my object is let's say swallowed by the other one because this cube comes closer to the camera than the actual viewport aligned element the controller so let's go into blender again and uh, let's change this to bottom and I'll show you straight away something else so that it makes sense when I add an empty I aligned it at the bottom of the screen and of course it's the center of the object the origin that's aligned with the bottom of the screen so uh, we want to avoid this back to blender um, <coughs> and also something else you have to note is that the rotation of the child uh, is not the same as the one of the camera because I parented them when the camera was uh, well if I go in top view see the camera is not looking uh, it has some orientation if I go into the camera view you see that it's not aligned with uh, neither the X uh, no Y X or Z axis there are different ways to uh, 
work around that. So first things I want to do um, is to uh, select the controller, press Alt P to clear the parent relationship. Then I want to create in the tool tab an empty. Uh, hmm. I'll press Alt G, send it back to the center because it has arrived here. I don't know where exactly, see, because I've clicked and moved my cursor. So now I'm going to change the widget uh, to the moving arrows or grabbing arrows. Get in, press one on the numpad, control, drag the empty and make it like under the cube this is going to be the the edge of the screen of your viewport um, so if you wanted it to be on the left well you would put the empty here more left than the object or maybe just touching the left side of the object because um, well that's where the screen would be and if it was on it was aligned on the top you would want the empty to be on top of the object if not here your screen would be of course under and this would be the top of the screen and that's where you would think you get the point uh, now I'm going to select this cube select the empty and press Control P to make select offset parent to object and I'm going to make the empty the parent of the cube next I want to select the empty shift select with the right click of course the camera and hmm Control P. Something is going to be a bit wrong, but uh, you'll see. Well, I was talking about the alignment of the camera. So that's when you see the cube. Mm -hmm. Is this what I want? Oh, yeah. Obviously. I think that empties too far away. Let's come back in our blender and see what happened with this. Did I change the properties of this empty? No. So in the object tab, go to it's this parented to the empty. The empty is parented to the camera. Now, yeah, here viewport alignment, of course, and bottom. I hadn't uh, reselected this. Uh, so now let's do the fast preview and the alignment of the controller cube is the same so if you wanted it to be aligned with the camera you could choose to um, well what I'm going to do is P alt P clear this parent go in the camera go alt P no, not Alt P. Alt R to clear rotations. It's looking downward. So if I go uh, 7 on the numpad to go to the top view, this is uh, how it's aligned. This cube isn't aligned in the same direction. I would have to select the empty and do a rotation pre by pressing R, selecting the X axis by pressing X and rotating minus 90 degrees. Now, if I select the empty and the camera and do control P to make them parented, if I do a fast preview, here's our cube nicely aligned. It's brilliant. And uh, well now I'm panning, that's not what I should do. If I come too close, the cube goes in. The controller goes into the cube and if I pan 
I can also modify the distance between the cube and the camera. I will show this right now. So I can bring this out of the way by moving the empty and bringing it nice and close to the camera. And what I was talking about is the camera has also options. I'm going to display the camera limits in the viewport. If I don't that's it. So um, I can limit the distance between the camera and the cube. This cube is uh, two blender units wide and high and deep. Uh, it must be a bit more on the corners between the origin and the corners. So I'm going to limit the distance between the camera to, let's say, five to be sure I don't get it all wrong. Now wait, this controller is at a distance of 10 already. So I might have to get it even set a bigger limit. Can't remember. I make a big max limit. I don't care how far it goes. If I don't want to go right round the object, I can use the horizontal limits. I'll give them a bit more space like that. That can go kind of right round, but not really. And if you don't want it, you don't want to be go completely around it on the vertical axis you can give these limits as well that's how high the camera can go and how low I like to stop it from being I press 1 it'll be nice and aligned with the viewport <coughs> I like to limit this so that I can't go under the object don't know I prefer um, the camera's orientation doesn't really matter because I'm in a target mode and the target, I think, is the origin of the world or something. But when I'm panning, I can... At the start of the scene, it's here. When I pan, I am moving it around because I'm displacing the camera like I was doing a um, travelling let's illustrate this fast preview so make the view appear oh yeah I can go far too close uh, so let's add a bigger uh, limit here make it hmm, 12 so that it's ridiculously far because this object also the empty also has you see a distance of 10 from the camera because if you're too close well obviously the, the, the control is going to be much closer to the camera and it's going to go huge so I could scale it down and whatnot but for demonstration purpose I prefer to leave it like that and uh, show you why you should use the no panning option so look oh that's another thing with the um, 1512 SDK version is I have a fast preview here Uh, let's show the object and see uh, no, not this here I can't go any closer when I'm uh, using the left mouse button and rotating around oh yeah oh let's see uh, the camera's orientation seems to have some kind of effect uh, now if I use the middle mouse button and pan the camera around if I come back down now how am I going to illustrate this there is at some point oh, now I don't have the right collision bounds uh, let's start again let's go zero press R twice and try to find the cube there this is kind of tricky it's the axes are upside down press R once to rotate on this axis let's start again press fast preview so here I can't go closer to the object but if I um, 
use the pan option then I'm moving the object and that's it now I'm in it that's because of the middle mouse button panning that's a bit of a inconvenient thing it changes in fact the um, it moves the target of the camera I believe that's what it does so on the um, XY axis but uh, in the local space of the camera so if I can't top I can actually bring the object closer than I want to the camera because I'm setting the origin the camera's looking the target behind the this object and now my limit isn't enough so now if I go back into blender select the camera the camera tab in the uh, properties panel and unclick here on the camera limits the use panning mode well now if I do a fast preview if I press with the middle mouse button nothing happens and now I'm never going to have my object uh, coming closer to the camera than my user interface thing here well uh, I think that's about all I wanted to show oh and see um, this object can be way off it's I think it um, what happened I must have brought it closer to the camera without checking how high it was something like that anyway um, there you go and um, if you wanted to rotate uh, the cube you would of course uh, think of going local space because now it's perfectly aligned with the camera but you could give it a little twist and you know just make it look a little cooler uh, fast preview one last time and see my that's just looks a bit better so disappear appear and uh, there we go uh, viewport alignment uh, showing camera bounds in the viewport as well and adding in the 3d uh, fast preview buttons are the three things that I wanted to show you of the 1512 release of the SDK of blend for web thanks for watching thanks for listening don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep up with the updates and don't forget compartir es vivir to share is to live thanks for watching and bye for now